Hi drummers, hope you're well. Little video for you here about building up the speed of your shuffle. Now a shuffle beat, it's regular eighth note shuffle, goes. Now guys, starting off with drum lessons uh, here, we tend to think about the basic groove and fill in a whole load of musical styles. So straight eighths feel, triplet feel, you know, sixteenth note feel, and then shuffle comes up pretty soon. And the thing with a shuffle is, when we first learn it, we go nice and slow, nice and steady, and it can take some time to build up to the point where you can play along with music. And often we say, oh, you know, have a listen to Higher Ground, Stevie Wonder, have a listen to Don't Stop, Fleetwood Mac, or whatever, all the great sort of shuffle tunes. And with all those songs, if you're starting out on the drums, it can really take quite a while to get to the point where you can actually play up to speed with those. So you need to do some speed building. So the kind of idea with this video, or these sorts of videos, is that you might even play along with it. Perhaps, uh, I know guys who've come for lessons here do this. I'm gonna start real slow. I'm gonna start 60 beats per minute. I'm just gonna play a shuffle beat for like a minute each time and push it up, man. Here it comes. So 60 BPM, two, three, four. This is gonna be slow. And that's it, man. Just sitting on that. And at this speed, you probably just learn the shuffle and you just get in the feel for it. Triplet, 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 triplet. If you don't know what a shuffle is, you're probably watching the wrong video. Um, watch my video about what a shuffle is first. I'll link to it in the description. Anyway, and so on. Right, let's do 70 BPM. One, two, three, four. per minute at a time here. We're looking for that improvement zone, that speed where we can just about do it, but we start to feel a bit stretched. Uh, that's the magic. Live in that zone, and what you'll find is that zone will get faster and faster as you go along. That was 80. This is 90 BPM. Two, three, four. Man, a little emphasis on the beat. So one and two and three and four. That was 90. Here it comes at 100 BPM. Two, three, four.
That was 100, this is 110. Sorry for the poor sound in this video, by the way. I did a gig and I got in at 3.55 a.m. and I've been doing lessons all day. It's now like, uh, what is it, four o'clock in the afternoon and um, uh, I'm about to go home and I didn't have time to set all the mics up this morning. I had to set my kit back up, so sorry if it's a lo-fi sound. Normal service without that resumed. next video. Here we go, 110, two, three, four. As you like, play one minute, two minutes, just sit on it, make it really sit, really groove. We're now at 120 BPM. Two, three, four. of like it's getting quicker and we're, there'd be loads of songs you can play along with at this speed now as you get faster and faster i tend to think of the shuffle as like a a, a little bit of a, a bounce double stroke you know when you do the open close like a little bit of that going on because you've got one and two and three and four and one so the and each time the swung and would be the the one where you use your wrist is that right one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four so yeah open close so the open on the and with the fingers and the close on the on the beat. Also tend to think of it as giving it a little push, man, on the beat, a little emphasis. One and two and three and four. As you get quicker, one and two and three and four. Kind of a mixture, if you like, of the open close finger uh, control technique, but also a bit of molar technique that I do, giving it a flick on the beat, a whipping motion. One and two and three and four. For me, somewhere between those two. Here we are at 140. One, two, three, four. as well I think when you're especially in the first instance when you're first building this up stick to the straight groove man it's really tempting I, I, with a lot of times we've done this you know in sessions here guys have started doing put in all their variations and stuff and in the end that's cool you can do that but I think when you're first getting this off the ground just play the simple version man this is about that right stick speed on the hi-hat so just work focus in on that man here we go 150 
go one one sixty two three four territory where like loads and loads and loads of songs will be within reach speed wise i'm going to keep going man find that improvement zone one two 170 Chops after gigging and playing and teaching all day. Um, there's a I'm playing a little blues band, a blues brothers band. It's not a little band at all. It's a big, massive, like 12 piece band. Blues brothers band. Um, and there's a song in there called Flip Flop and Fly that we play sometimes. And that's a really fast shuffle about that kind of speed. It's a roast, man. But it's, uh, this is perfect little practice to do. Here it comes at one. No, hang on. 210 BPM. One, two, three, four. I wouldn't really fancy playing a, a tune that was at like 210 with that straight groove all the way through too much. That's my kind of in, improvement zone, I reckon sort of 180 to about 200, something like that. Um, cool man, I hope that's helpful, that is the way to do it. There's no way around that, such an awesome, brilliant thing to do. Can't stress it enough, I'm always saying it, but head, heart and hands man. You've got to get your hands working, this is one brilliant way to build speed. You know, what a lot of drummers do is they just try and, they put on music and they just try and play along with fast songs. and. It's, not, it's maybe a bit fun, but it's not great practice, man. What you've got to do is build the thing. Go, get a speed down where you can play it solidly for at least a minute, rock solid. 60 BPM, I recommend starting there. Just push that up um, bit by bit, man, and you'll get it. Thanks so much. I'm going to go and catch up on some sleep, and uh, happy Easter. I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot.